Here I am again, my favorite place, the bathroom. <laughs> and what is Joe going to talk to you about today? Well, hey, this sink's been giving me fits over the last few weeks. It's been draining slower and slower and slower and it's been clogged up. But hey, I don't have very long hair. Look at this. Do you think it's from my hair? Well, maybe it's from when I shave and when I get hair down in there and it's all clogged up. But here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the water on here. Let's just do a little reconnaissance here. Okay. Oh, look. You look real close. There was a couple bubbles there. Nothing's happening. It's draining really super slow. See, the, uh, the pop-up valve is up. It's up all the way. I've got to do something about that. Now, am I a professional plumber? No. Are you a pro professional plumber? <laughs> I'm sure you're not, or else you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? Now see, if you have a plucked up sink like that and it's, and it's going slow, it's going down all the way, generally down to the P-trap, so, so once that drains out, if you just have to wash your hands real quick or brush your teeth real quick, chances are it's not going to come up and you might be able to live with it for a couple months until it gets worse and worse and worse. Uh. So. I figured it's time to do something about that. And what am I going to use? Here it is. Kaboom. Oh, unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains in seconds. And look at that. I've got two of these. I call them the zippets. It costs about three bucks at the hardware store. It's going to set you back about three bucks. See there? zip it and see this was one of my old ones and you can see you've got it's just a, a heavy piece of plastic and it's got little tines on there that are cut out and kind of pushed out you see there now I might be able to get it with that I've been I've been saving this and see it's broken off a few pieces the rest of this was really bad here there's pieces gone I mean this is pretty much gonzo I don't think this is going to do it, but see, here I got a new one, the Zip It. You can get these at the Home Depot or, or Lowe's, you know, very inexpensive. And really? You can unclog a sink by using just that, Joe? Well, yeah, I have a little bit of know-how. Okay, and here's the container it's in. I just, I just cut the, the end off, pull it out. And then I use this for my holding container. I'm going to put this in the garage on a shelf, you know, for next time. I've probably used this, this yellow one maybe once or twice. See? It almost looks brand new, doesn't it? Uh, there's, one, there's one little tine that's been broken off. And, you know, they don't last very long, but hey, they're probably good for uh, 10 sink clogs. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping not to have to get underneath the sink and take the, the P-trap out and all that kind of stuff. I'm, let, let's get you in there a little bit closer. Taking the video camera off the tripod. See how much gap I have here between the pop-up valve and the drain? That should give me enough room to squeeze that in there and fish it down in there, right? Now, if your pop-up valve only comes up, you know, that high, then you may have an issue. And it might be because you need to readjust this and there's a way to adjust that down underneath the sink. Did you know that? I probably have a video on that. I'm not gonna show you all about that today. This is all about something else. How to unclog a bathroom sink. And some people, I, I've got a video of like that on my channel now and I'll probably have to title this one slightly different so that YouTube will give me the opportunity to put another how to unclog 
a sink, a bathroom sink again. And last time I didn't use my gloves and some, some people poo-pooed me. Oh, Joe, hey, how could you? Why don't you use some, some gloves? Well, yeah, I could use some gloves. They're gonna get all dirty and yucky and, and, and stuff. What's the big deal? If I just use my hands, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up washing my hands when I get all done with this anyways. You know what I mean? But uh, let's, let's just see. Let's just see if I can't do some magic here. We're gonna, we're gonna load this up with water. And you know, I'm gonna use this one first. Lots of times your sinks won't be clogged down at your adjustable P-trap underneath the sink. Did you know that? Lots of times they're clogged from the pop-up valve collecting hair and grabbing it and then clogging it and the hair hanging off of there. If you can grab that and pull that stuff out or, or push some of it down and then pull some out, pull some out, pull some out, you might be able to get it without going underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna try this first. And I can I can already kind of feel that, that there's a little bit of hair in there. Okay. And generally you can you can uh, go around the edges somewhere and get it to go to, to go on down. Okay. Like that. And the cool thing about it is they got that little hole, and that's so that you can use your finger to pull it down, to pull it back out. Now see, it's already starting to, to uh, drain faster. And, and my, theory, my theory on this particular drain is there's no real long hair in it. A little bit of my shaving facial hair probably, probably got uh, clogged up around um, this pop-up valve and and then another little bit collected another little bit collected I mean this this sink has been good for oh, the last year or so and it just now started and so see my theory is if I use this one here and and readjust all of that very small facial hair okay uh, this water is probably going to just flush it right on down, and that's probably going to be the end of it. Now, I have not done anything yet. There's no tricks involved here, okay? No tricks. I don't do stuff like that. On my, on my, uh, on most of my videos, I don't try to check things out first and then, and then uh, see what's happening before I start the camera and all that kind of stuff. I just, I get in there and whoosh, just go for it. Turn the video camera on. And I never know what I'm gonna say from video to video, what tips and tricks along the way I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you along the way for whatever it is I'm gonna talk about, okay? So that just, that just tells you that you might wanna watch whatever video you're watching on my channel. And I got, I, hey, I got over 3,000 videos. Prove me wrong. Go to my video uh, channel, my YouTube main channel, click on videos or click on all, all videos or something like that. Click on my playlist, count them up if you have time. Count them up. And so that goes for any of my YouTube videos. I never know what I'm gonna say. And lots of people, Ooh, look at that. It's not going down that as fast as I thought. Lots of people might grab the first little bit of a 10 minute video and then after that they're gone. And they may have missed the meat and potatoes of other things that I happen to want to say on my, on my particular video, whatever it is. So you might want to check it out. Okay, so as you can see, I there's not much more I can do with this small one, okay? And if there was uh, hair or something clogged down in the adjustable P-trap, this one here, because it's the full length one, see, this, this white one is not as long because I cut it off because I messed it all up at the bottom from, from uh, 
unclogging all kinds of sinks and saving myself hundreds of dollars from the plumber. But see, if I can get this all the way down, look how, look how tall that is, from there to there. Don't you think that's going to hit the uh, adjustable P-trap? Probably going to hit the adjustable P-trap and then go boink, like that. And then anything in there that is clogged, I might be able to take this out. And if, if not, I'll talk to you a little bit more. If you can't get it out with the zip it, with just popping your pop-up valve and kind of shoving it down or back and forth, you may have to disconnect the pop-up valve from underneath the sink. There's a, there's a way to do that. I've got videos on my channel on how to do that, how to remove your adjustable P-trap, how to take the pop-up valve out so that you can pull it out so you can clean that and, and clean all that stuff. Then you can run this. Once you get the pop-up valve out, you can run this all the way down there. And if you've got a bigger clock that you think you can't pull everything up that way, chances are you'll still be able to get it out of here without undoing the adjustable P-trap. Now, lots of times, if you're not, if you're not a do, DIYer, you may not have some adjustable channel locks big enough to undo your nut, nut on the adjustable P-trap. And then you're like, oh great, what do I do now? Go to the store, buy that, and then what if I can't fix it? And then you call a plumber, and the plumber happily comes out to your house, happily will charge you, oh, I don't know, $150 probably to unclog your sink, if it's a very minor sink issue. Obviously, if you have a clog down inside your wall, down into the sewer line, hey, that's something different, that a zip it, or whatever I do today, is not going to do anything and then you're going to need to call a plumber and have them come out with a snake and all that kind of stuff run it down inside your wall underneath the sink and do all that kind of stuff you see you won't be able to do it with this but i always always try to do this first okay night it's a nice quick simple easy way three dollars how much did your last pizza cost you twelve dollars or more, you could, have bought, you could have bought four of these, given one to your friend. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to shove this one down there and see. Look at that, see? I got it all, it's all the way down there. And so now I'm just going to kind of lift it up, kind of go back and forth a little bit, see if I can pull up anything. Look at that, it's clean. It tells me there's not, there's probably not much hair caught in and around the uh, pop-up valve. You know what I mean? And once, once you get it out, sometimes you have to kind of jerk it. And, and sometimes, you know, if I, if I jimmy this enough, I could probably pull this uh, uh, um, pop-up valve out of there without disconnecting it underneath there because this sink is 20 years old, the pop-up valve's 20 years old. It's been worn on there and um, I, could, I could maybe even pull it out. I've done that on some sinks before. Okay. Well, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm not, I'm not, getting, I'm not getting much of anything out of here. And see, that's why, that's why these tines come off, because you may have to jerk this out to get it back out. And just, just play with it a little bit. I mean, I, I try to use these, you know, five to ten times before I decide I gotta throw it away. Don't just use it once and throw it away and say, oh well. You know? See there? there? There's hardly any, there's hardly anything in there. And even when you have an unclogged sink and you fill it up, it's gonna take a little bit of time to, uh, to uh, for all the water to go down, right? Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna do a test, and um, I, I'll get you I'll get you down there. Ah, actually, maybe I can I can zoom in here a little bit, and we can both watch the water 
flow out of this thing and see if you can't hear it go like that at the end or something. Oh, it's, it's going good. Listen. You hear that? Look at that. Now, do you think if you get it that clean and clear, do you think you've just now fixed it? You may not have fixed it 100%, but you probably fixed it 99% of, of, of it. And next time it starts clogging up, especially if you have kids and girls with long hair or boy, guys with long hair, hey, you're going to have this issue time and time again. You know, you're going you're gonna to have the issue here. I've used a zip it, believe it or not, for sinks. Okay? Your shower, your shower uh, drain. You can, you can run it down your shower drain. I've used a zip it for that. I've used it for, for bathtub drains. You can do it for that. Okay? And that's, that's what I say. When you read this at the store, unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains in how many seconds, minutes, hours, in seconds. That's how long it's going to take you. And I've talked longer than showing you this. If you play this back and just the allotted amount of time that I've used this, and you add up the minutes, you're going to see that, yes, I have done it in minutes. And guess what? If you don't have one of these and you think, oh, I'm not a plumber, I don't know what to do, and all that kind of stuff, and you don't get a zip it at the store, and you just say, ah, we'll just call a plumber. We'll just call a plumber. Plumber comes out. He, it's going to take him about this long to fix it generally. 99 out of 100 times, that's pretty much all you have to do. Or take the pop-up valve out and then uh, do this more so that you've got more room down there. Okay? And like I say, 99 out of 100 times that I've ever unclogged a bathroom sink drain, I've done it this way. Okay? So you... You call a plumber because you don't want to mess with it. Eh, forget it. I'm not, I'm not DIY inclined. I've never done it before. I'm going to call a plumber. plumber. Plumber comes out and he charges you, you know, a $75 trip charge just before he even puts his one foot in your door. You know, so it just depends. Some plumbers cost more, some, some plumbers cost less. But he's going to come in here, he's going to look at it, sure enough, you got a sink problem, sure enough, you want him to clear it out, sure enough, 10 minutes later, he's going to say, okay, I'm done, he's writing up your invoice, and the invoice is going to have his trip charge on, it's going to have his overhead and profit charge, his, his service call charge, uh, his hourly charge, and all that kind of stuff. Your bill is going to be, I'm guessing, this is an educated Yes, yeah, $125 to $150, okay? Boom, $150 right out of your pocket. And you're going to be, oh, well, I need to have it done, oh, brother. And, and he tells you, oh, he doesn't explain to you that he pulled one of these out and he did with that because you were in the other room watching TV or making dinner or whatever you were doing. You weren't watching them, okay? And there's another tip. You get, if you get somebody out a plumber or something, you watch and see what they're doing because if, if he pulls something out like this, you can think, oh, if that's all I have to do next time? Hey, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that on my own next time, okay? But if you don't do any of that and you're not paying attention to him and you pay the $150, guess what? Your other sink right over here is going to start having the same issue five months from now, three months from now, two months from now, and this sink may have the same issue uh, six months from now, a year from now, and if you don't know how to do it, to fix it, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to call the plumber up again, aren't you? And you're going to have him come out and charge you another $125 to unplug this one. And then when your bathtub, because you've got kids and, and they've got long hair and stuff, and you, you want to wash their hair in the bathtub sometimes, guess what? That's going to get plugged up, and guess who you're going to call again? The plumber. Guess how much he's going to charge you to fix that? Guess how he's going to fix that, probably? With a little tool like this, you're going to be out another $150. Yeah, I'm not done. I know. 
and then your shower is going to get clogged up. Guess what? Uh, you're going to call the plumber again. Another 150. So there's there's 150, 150, 150, and 150. How much in this bathroom have you already spent? Six hundred dollars? You really going to do that? Oh, I hope you don't do that. And I hope you've learned something on this video and how to save money. Hey, I'm not even going to charge you. I should be charging people a finder's fee or something on, on videos when I can save them money. I've, I've saved people hundreds and thousands of dollars with them just watching my videos and learning tips and tricks and techniques along the way on all kinds of stuff. You go to my main YouTube channel page, okay, and find where, it's, where it says playlists, click on playlists, and it'll take you down, it'll scroll to, it'll take you to another page, and then you can scroll down through all of the topics, the DIY topics that I have on, on my channel, I have over 50. You click on one, oh hey, how to, how to, how to fix an electrical outlet, how to install an electrical outlet, how to install a, a ceiling fan, how to troubleshoot a ceiling fan, how to fix a wobbly ceiling fan, how to install a toilet, how to unclog a sink, how to, how to install a baseboard, whatever it is, look through all those titles, those topic titles, click on there, whatever amount of videos that I have that go to that title, I will have posted to that playlist. So if I got, if I got 250 electrical videos on there, guess what? All of the electrical videos on my YouTube channel will be in that area. And same thing with, with plumbing repairs, landscaping repairs, whatever it is you're looking for. I'm just doing a whole video series on dry rot deck repairs. I, I don't know how many videos I've done so far on that. And I got it fixed. Did I get the dry rot, rot deck fixed, torn apart, rebuilt, and the column, the stucco column there, and the, the top two steps to the stairs, fix the stair stringers, treated the, the mildew and the dry rot and the fungus and everything that went to that. Yeah, I did it all. I show you everything step by step on how to do that. Okay, here, here it goes again. Let's get you down there to the nitty gritty. I'm, I'm calling that good. Okay, all by using this little zip it. Three dollars. These used to cost like 99 cents, a dollar 99, then they were, <clears throat> then they were a dollar 69, then they were something else. I think they're about three dollars. They could be 3.99 depending on where you go. Okay. I, I, I still keep this, I still keep this little one for a probe. Okay, there it is. Unclog your sink. <laughs> Man, I'm losing my voice now. Unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains in seconds. And there you go. Now, after you leave, I will rinse this sink out with a sponge and everything else and wash my hands really good here. Coarse. Okay. And then I'll, I'll rinse the whole sink out. I'll even, get, I'll even bring my simple green up here with a sponge, spray it, wipe it down, get, get, a, get a clean sponge, get this all, because when you get all done, you want it to look like you were never there. Look at that, it's not, it used to bubble up and all the soap from washing my hands it used to be staying right there, that's fixed. I don't have to call no plumber. Ah, oh, that's more better. Nice and clean, like I was never there. Well, I hope you learned something. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos and I'll help you save more money around the house. Just hey, give me a chance. Look at look at my channel. If you have not subscribed, do so and then click the 
the yellow bell or the black bell, whatever, whatever color they have now. And that will mean that anytime I post a new YouTube video, it'll come to your inbox on your YouTube channel. Okay, it's a good way to see, hey, what's Video Joe up to? What's he, what's he, what's he gotten himself into now? What's he working on now? And, you know, you can keep up to date. If you don't want to do that, you don't have, you, you don't have to do anything like that. You can just go to my, my playlists and get on my main YouTube channel page, click on playlists, and then scroll through whatever your issue is. Hopefully, I can, I can help you. Obviously, if you can't find the the DIY topic, you can send me a message or, and I can maybe respond to you back on uh, whatever video you're on about whatever your issue is. Maybe I can still help you or um, you can tell me what you were looking for. Maybe I can, I can tell you when I'm thinking about making a video like that or maybe I'll have to tell you, hey, thanks for thinking about me, but uh, you'll have to keep looking and then you can Google or you can get on your YouTube channel. You can go just in the search box. You can Google uh, whatever you want from your YouTube uh, or the YouTube search box, you know, on, on Google, whatever. Okay. You, or you can just get on Google. You can put whatever you want, how to, how to do boom, 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 boom. And then at the end, put YouTube or at the beginning, put YouTube. And you'll probably find whatever you're looking for on YouTube. All right. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Welp, I can mark that one off my list. <laughs>